Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central and let's get started with today's Guns N' Roses news. So I guess before we get started I should say this is a cool photo that one of my subscribers sent me. This is a photo of Axel playing the bass guitar. There's only one other photo I've seen him of playing the bass guitar but this one is only one of two at least I've seen. So if you guys want to check out the photo and other cool rare images go like my Facebook page because I tend to post a lot of rare stuff that you may not necessarily see on my YouTube channel. So if you guys want to go like my Facebook page it's uh, the link is below in the description box let's get started with our news for the day so Tommy Stinson was on Fox he was doing an interview for his band Bash and Pop and of course Guns N' Roses came up and Donald Trump came up so he really had nothing bad to say about Axel and he had nothing really bad to say about the reunion and I gotta say Tommy seems like a really cool guy I wish I would have went up to him that one time I saw him and actually got in a photo or at least had a conversation with him but maybe someday I'll see him again. So let's talk about uh, what he said about Axel. He was asked about how Axel has a reputation for being difficult to work with, but Tommy said he's actually worked with people who are much less known, who have been a bigger pain in the ass to deal with than Axel and Paul from The Replacements. Now, he wouldn't name names, but uh, he just said, yeah, they're not the biggest pains he's ever had to deal with. And uh, he also talked about Donald Trump. So this is what he had to say about Donald Trump. He said, um, I'm politically minded and I'm pretty troubled by a lot of things. I frankly can't believe I still have to live in this country for a little while longer. But I think I do because of my kid, both of my kids, Stinson said. But I think that given and out, I'd get the hell out of here as quickly as I could. So if you guys want to see the entire interview, I've linked to it down below. It's up on my Facebook page. Let's go into our next piece of news. So we have some follow-up from Guns N' Roses concert in Singapore. So as you guys know, there was a bunch of issues uh, with uh, food, drink, and concession stands, and merchandising stands. And it's now been revealed that $140,000 in Singapore dollars worth of credits will be refunded to Guns N' Roses concert goers who bought uh, credits for food and drink but were unable to redeem them via their uh, wristbands that... Uh, they put money on. So apparently I've done some math and $140,000 in Singapore dollars is about $100,000 US. So it's, it's nice that at least the fans who weren't able to use their credit are getting some sort of refund back. And the Guns N' Roses cover band Guns to Roses announced on Facebook today that to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Appetite for Destruction, they are going to be performing the album in its full entirety exclusively at several venues. So these are the venues that are listed, London, Wakefield, Sheffield, Hull, uh, Coventry, Manchester, and Liverpool. So the dates are basically scheduled all the way between September 30th and December 16th. And if you guys have been paying attention to my channel, I'm hoping to have one of the members of Guns to Roses on tomorrow for a special edition of my Guns N' Roses podcast. And then Kevin, who was on um, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, he's going to be on my podcast on Sunday. So be sure to tune into that. I think we're aiming for 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, which I think is 6 p.m. my time. Or sorry, it'll be uh, 6 p.m. my time. But as I get more information, guys, I will let you guys know the times. And then tomorrow, the Guns to Roses interview should be at at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, my 3 p.m. Eastern, which he, they're in they're in the UK, so it'll be a little bit later there. But uh, tune into that. Let's go into our next piece of news. And then we've also got some photos of Guns N' Roses in Dubai. So these are just some more photos. This is a photo of the airplane at the airport. This is a photo of Duff uh, out and about in Dubai. I'm not really sure what it says here, but I can see the last word is Dubai. And you can see they're relaxing. Dell James posted this awesome video of a guy like cutting meat in some restaurant. And as somebody who loves to cook, uh, I got a real kick out of it. So go check it out. I've linked to the video down below. And these are some photos of Slash and Megan in Dubai. And then this is a photo of Slash walking. So that basically does it for today's news, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe to my channel for all things related to Guns N' Roses. And be sure to tune in tomorrow. I'll be doing a full recap of Guns N' Roses' last show as part of this leg of the tour. So hopefully it's a great show in Dubai. And then hopefully it takes some time off and then maybe change the set list up uh, come uh, later on in the year. And make sure you guys follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. I will follow you guys back on Twitter. Thanks for watching, guys. And you have yourself a good start to the weekend. Take care.